Welcome to another video from the farm. Today I'm going to be having a little talk about our vertical axis wind turbine over there. So, I get a fair few comments on the previous video I did on the installation of this vertical axis wind turbine asking, does it work? Does it put out power? So on and so forth. And in short, yes it does put out power. But it definitely doesn't give out the rated power that it says on the box when you buy it. So far, I'd say, yeah, it has been working well for us. It's kept our little 12 volt battery bank that we use for the LEDs inside the pallet shed nice and charged. Just checked them and we're at 12.5 after a really cold night. So expect a little bit of voltage drop from the cold weather. So I reckon probably sitting around 13, 13 and a half volts. So a nice trickle charge constantly from the vertical axis. And it's also worked out pretty nice because I actually got this for free in the end. I sent them a little picture of it not putting out the correct uh, wattage, basically. I showed it a little video to them of it spinning in high wind and it putting out 18, 19 volts, but only putting out just about an amp. So, because it was faulty, the company that ordered it from on Amazon gave it me for free. They didn't ask for it to be returned and they just gave me my money back. Faulty product. I guess a lot of people have had similar issues with these. So I've a lot of comments saying they don't work, vertical axis are rubbish, these ones don't put out power, and then, yeah, I think it's basically just poor manufacture. A friend of mine had a little look inside of his and, yeah, wasn't wound properly around the coil on the alternator end, and it's thin wires and small magnets, so, yeah, basically needs a bit of an upgrade to put out the full power. But, kind of perfect if you just want to have a little play, and like I say, if it doesn't work, you'll get it for free, so, ideal. Gives out enough to trickle charge a little lighting battery, as long as you're not overusing it. Keep it nicely topped up. But yeah, you buy cheap, you buy twice as they say. As you can see on that one, the actual alternator is fairly small, it's only about 10 centimeters deep. Now you can get ones, I've seen, which seem more legit, as it will have one that's basically twice, three times as deep, so the bottom of the alternator, which is that white blob in the middle there will actually extend downwards beyond the fins on a few of the ones that I've seen. Now I imagine that one will work much better and it's about 500 quid so yeah if it's more expensive it makes sense that it's going to work doesn't it? But like anything cheap on Amazon and eBay you've got to make that gamble if you want to have a little go. Like I say worked out well for me because I got this for free but I imagine they won't always give the money back to people. And yeah, it's what, three, four times the price for a 500 watt standard wind turbine that people use on caravans and boats all the time that definitely work well. So I'd probably advise just buy a normal one, buy one off an actual supplier of small wind turbines rather than using one of these cheap Chinese Amazon knockoffs. Because yeah, you're having a gamble with how much power it's going to put out as well as, yeah, they might not give you your money back if it doesn't work. So my original plan with this was test it out, see if it worked well enough to buy a few more of these and then smash them on the edge of this here, our big feed bin, which is about 12 metres in the air, so plenty of height extra on the wind turbines for free. No extra supports needed. But as it doesn't work well, I think I'm going to wait a little, little while, gather some more funds together, and then I'm going to add a few more expensive little wind turbines, so probably buy some kilowatt ones, which are in the region of a thousand in the future. But yeah, when I can afford them, we'll get them. We'll get them plugged up here, and then we'll have a nice little wind turbine system that'll actually power part of the farm. Now I did have one final thought with this, and that's to take it down, take it apart, and actually fit some new neodymium magnets inside there and see if that increases the power at all. And then failing that, Got a nice little hub there that I can actually use for another project, make my own wind turbine somehow with a different alternator. Because yeah, that component on the top, that spinning hub there with the little bearing that runs right the way through, they aren't the cheapest to buy anyway. So free component, free wind turbine for me so far. So to wrap up this little video then, don't buy one, buy a better one I'd say, unless you want to take the gamble of getting a free one. I mean, I did, and my friend of mine did. I think someone else who 
I bought one of these in the comments on the previous video got one for free as well because it didn't work properly so yeah it's a gamble if you're going to get one it won't put out the full power it says but it will put out some power like I say enough to trickle charge a 12 volt battery bank for a, a light or two but yeah all in all just get a better one that's what I'd say go for a proper legit one off a proper company that comes with some sort of factor that you know it works basically if they're advertising it off a proper website and a proper company that sells other components that you know and trust then yeah the wind turbine's going to work as well isn't it these ones cheap chinese knockoffs they don't work right as you kind of expect as it's a third less to a quarter less price than anything else in a similar power quoted range so that's all my thoughts on these vertical axis cheap wind turbines let me know your thoughts below if you've got one yourself let me know what power output you get, if it's working well for you, if you've managed to get one for free as well. Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, bye bye.